So we're starting to hear that it's the start of fire season. Uh, so we're here to talk to Fire Chief Brian Marshall today to learn a little bit more about what fire season means. So we're, like I said, we're starting to hear that it's fire season, but and I thought that that meant that there was a date on the calendar that marked the opening of fire season, but I don't think that's how it works. So can you give us a quick education on how the determination of fire season works? So there's no magic date on the calendar. Fire season in California is year round. Okay. Uh, just remember a few months ago in December and January, we were in Southern California, Ventura, Santa Barbara, right. fighting the Thomas fire. Right. So our firefighters were on the front lines literally at Christmas. Okay. So what we're transitioning into is what we call peak fire season. That's when all the fuels dried out. There's no more snow in the mountains. Uh, the temperatures are warm. So the conditions are ripe for a wildland fire. Okay. So what, is, uh, what does it mean for our residents and visitors to the area when we say we're in peak fire season? What, what things do they need to be aware of? So when we're in peak fire uh, season, we want everybody to be fire safe. Uh, often uh, people leave their campfire burning when they leave their campsite. When that happens, that fire could spread through the, the duff or the okay. grass, and all of a sudden we have a major wildland uh, fire. Also, we require the hazard reduction. Okay. People often do that year round, and when they do, use a weed eater or a tractor at two o'clock on the afternoon when it's 100 degrees, chances are they're going to strike a rock and now we have a wildland okay. fire. So what we want people to do is be wildland fire savvy and know where they are, know that they need to be fire safe so we don't have that wildland fire start Okay. which could turn into be a disaster. Okay, so for our residents who are clearing what I think a lot of us would refer to as that fire break, Yes. be careful about the equipment you're using and the time of day so that you're not sparking a fire. Right. And for campers and visitors, mind your fires, your campfires and so right. on. Um, for our campers, and we have a lot of campgrounds right. around the county and we have, you know, kind of mountainous areas, any extra precautions or things that they should know about heading into those areas when it comes to wild land fires? Does it behave differently up there? Well, in, in the, the mountain parks that we have around the county, the one thing I think you have to be aware of is when a fire occurs, that you may have to evacuate your campsite. Okay. And often the, the residents in the mountain areas, they know how to evacuate. But okay. for some, somebody who comes out of maybe Metropolitan Bakersfield and now is at a campsite and they have to evacuate, uh, they may not be thinking of that. So it, it's planning your escape before the emergency occurs. Okay. So is that something that's available when you book a campsite? That do the campgrounds usually have that information or is that just understanding the routes, um, getting to and from where you're camping? Well, it's a two part question. Yes, check in with the campground host okay. and make sure that they know how to contact you in case there is an evacuation order. But also you, you need to plan your own escape. You can't rely on everybody to help you. Right. Because the situation may start in your campground and there may not be enough time for that information to get to you. Right. You may see smoke and fire and you better be able to evacuate. Okay. Awesome. Is there anything else that you want our residents or visitors to the county to know about wildland fires or about our firefighters who are out there keeping us safe in that, uh, in that arena? Well, one of the causes of wildland fires that we see here in Kern County, because we have the Grapevine, Highway 58 going mm -hmm. up over to Hatchapi, uh, Highway 178 through the canyon. Right. When people tow trailers, that chain that connects the trailer to the vehicle often drags on the ground. And when that does, yeah. we create sparks. Mm -hmm. And now we're in peak fire season, one spark is all we need to have a major wildland fire. Okay. So we want people to be aware of that. The other thing is Ready Kern. Ready Kern is our reverse 911 system. Right. That's how we notify people that there is a fire in their community 
and when it's time to escape. Okay. So they can sign up at uh, kerncountyfire.org and, and uh, get the Ready Kern information in there so we can advise you and it's free. Okay, awesome. So if you're towing a trailer, yeah. keep your chains picked up. Yes. No dragging them on the ground. Yes. Uh, and if you're a Kern County resident, make sure that you go out and register your Good. home and family with Ready Kern so that you'll get all the information when you need it. Yes, okay. because when there's smoke in the air, it's often too late. Right. So we want to get that information out there. And then when we do do an evacuation order, man, don't even think about it get out too often people wait too long uh -huh. and they tragically die as they're trying to right. escape a wildland fire get okay. out early so if the fire department calls you and says it's time to go it's time to go it's time to it's go. time to go okay so thanks chief for kind of giving yes. us a quick education it is peak fire season and uh, we hope that you'll keep your campfires under control and uh, your fire breaks right. done properly and uh, be safe this fire season Yes.